Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessOfTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing uh, well. Crazy, crazy day. Uh, before we get into the whole uh, CPI fiasco and craziness, uh, again, I just want to uh, quickly welcome all the new uh, subscribers that are joining us on the YouTube channel. Again, we love and appreciate all your support. For anybody who is new here, please like, please share, please subscribe. Uh, again, help us continue uh, to getting out the word of uh, unbiased uh, technical analysis approach. So let's get into uh, the market right away. So we knew going into yesterday's session that uh, today was gonna be volatile, right? We talked about this last night on the video. Again, new traders, unfortunately, you know, because you're so new, you don't know the difference between volatility right and average range and kind of uh you know kind of addressing addressing the two volatility is what we saw today we'll, we'll get to that in a second uh average range is what these beta stocks have uh incorporated in their dna on a daily basis from nut to bolt and you have the ability to trade both sides of the market in between those ranges and when we got into today's session we knew especially if you watched last night's video we knew we were going to have a violent session we knew it was going to be all over the place uh, the consensus uh, for the CPI this morning uh, was at 6.2%, uh, uh, I believe. Uh, the inflation for January's reading, uh, they came at 6.4%, hotter uh, than expected. And this is when you know you really start talking about, be careful what you wish for, right? A lot of people, oh, volatility, traders love volatility. No, no, no. Traders love average to range. Nobody likes volatility. And here's the case in point, right? So 8 o'clock came around, the 8, uh, 8.30, uh, 830 CPI was released. Uh, the market gapped up into the CPI number. Everything was really good. We had a nice little rally yesterday. Everything was fine. And then the fireworks started, right? And here we go. So the initial move was up. And then the initial move was down. And then the initial move was up. And then the initial move was down. And then the initial move kept on going lower. They held the bottom of the channel. They held the bottom of the channel, put this in, put this hammer in. And next thing you know, we started ripping, absolutely ripping. So here, you want volatility? You got volatility. Again, the question is, were you prepared for the volatility? And unfortunately, because a lot of new traders are just not mentally there, right? They're just not mentally ready to, uh, to incorporate their thoughts and their preparation, what they think is preparation, uh, the violence gets to them. And we talked about this last night. Again, you don't wanna go into, especially if you're a brand new trader, you didn't wanna go into today's session with, right, you know, pounding on the chest, let's, you know, let, let me show, you know, let me show the, you know, let me, let me show everybody how smart and tough and brilliant I am. You know, this was, you know, this was 45 minutes uh, from nut to bolt, from the start of the CPI to about 10, 15, 10, 30 in the morning, that if you didn't really understand your levels, and we'll get to the pivots in a second, um, we were really, really prepared for the today. Um, but if you didn't understand your levels, you got absolutely run over. If you traded today based on the number they came out and then try to instill your will what you thought was gonna happen next, you got destroyed. Not once, not twice, not three times, but four times. And you can see up, down, 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 re re just absolutely out of control. Look, look at this, look at this day, guys. Look at this day. Tell me this is normal, right? Tell me this is normal. This is a normal day, right? This is a normal day. So absolute violence, uh, absolute chaos. Again, it's it's the the equivalent of you know there's a there's a lit street, right? And you make it at, you go out of your way. You're completely out of your way um, to go into a dark uh, dark um, uh, alley, unprotected, knowing unknowing that what kind of dangers you have. An absolutely uh, insane day. We'll get to the pivots in a second, but more important. Uh, what is happening, right? What is continuing to happen? We talked about uh, yesterday, if there wasn't no, uh, if there wasn't a, a CPI event, we talked about the nature of that last night, right? The Qs reclaimed both the five and the 10 day moving average. That was a bullish thing. That wasn't a bearish thing, it was absolutely bullish. And today when we confirmed and we got you know, some pretty great prices on these things, but when everything confirmed today, it really continued to cement the fact that Every single piece, whether it's negative or really negative or ultra negative or even good, right? Everything's translated to good prices. And even if when we have two, three days of light 
volume back testing uh, the bulls hold they reclaim back levels several days and then we start the next leg again and you can see the stocks that continue to to make us you know make us proud to be beta traders right you're in the video your Teslas of the world. Guess who the two strongest stocks again that led today? Did everything explode today? Absolutely not. I think most of the, most of the names had a good um, had a good rest today. You know, Apple was super strong yesterday. Microsoft was super strong yesterday. Meta was super strong yesterday. Netflix was super strong yesterday. They all took a rest. And the stocks that were really aggressive yesterday, they got sold for two days in a row. They woke up, right? They woke up, and we'll get to that in a second. Tesla woke up, Nvidia woke up, and making some incredible, incredible moves uh, through the course of the day. They never went down. They literally did not go down uh, with the price action when they started getting violent to the downside. Uh, Tesla caught, you know, 215, 220, 230 uh, weekly call buyers, and you know this thing is literally a nut step throw away from last week's highs. Again, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, NVIDIA, ma massive option flow, right from the word go. They came for the 220s, the 225s, the 230s. We saw some 240s. We saw some 250s ahead of earnings. So the bull market, I mean, again, sorry. I mean, I hate, I hate to bust everybody's bubble who still thinks we're in a bear market. This is not the way a bear market acts. Bear markets do not shake off bad news. This has been the constant since 2003 started, since 2003 has uh, negated bad news after bad news. The sellers has got tired at the, at the bottom of the charts. And here we are. So now that, you know, now that CPI is out of the way, now that natural market structure continues, right? We still have uh, some big earnings coming up. We still have NVIDIA coming up. You still have Square coming up. Uh, you know, in the next uh, week or so, you know, you have Tesla uh, making some incredible, incredible moves today. Again, big, big call buying coming in. I believe Elon Musk announced there is going to be, and I could be wrong unless I'm completely dreaming of this. I believe Elon announced there's going to be a March 1st, whether it's investors, uh, investors conference, something, something to that degree. Uh, maybe there's a run up, right? Maybe they'll see a big run up on Tesla ahead of that. Uh, ahead of that uh, March 1st event, but I'm going to keep an eye on, uh, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to double check uh, to see what that is. Again, unless I was completely dreaming, uh, I'm pretty sure I saw him tweet that, but I could be, uh, I could be wrong. It's such a, a long day. So uh, going into tomorrow's session, again, I think any strong names now that we uh, reclaim back the five and the 10 day moving average on the queues, right? Today, we confirmed it. You can see how much airspace we have. Remember, the high from two weeks ago uh, was 313.68 on the queues. Uh, yesterday, we confirmed, well, excuse me, today, we confirmed that 305.10 that we talked about last night's video uh, put in a nice move almost to 308. So everything looks good. I think any dips into strong names, especially on weakness, uh, needs to be uh, needs to be addressed, needs to be owned. Uh, after the close, uh, Airbnb, again, another stock that, you know, people were, you know, oh, this is the worst stock ever, Airbnb. Okay, it's up 11% after, again, nobody cares what anybody says. The proof is in the pudding. Uh, these stocks are either going to go higher or going to go lower in the market. Again, no matter what, you know, what you think of an individual company, whether it's Netflix, Tesla, or even in this case, Airbnb, that's putting up an 11% move after hours, the market is really, um, is, is really paying off, right? Paying off the sentiment that we are currently have. Again, unless a company is coming out with some horrific, absolute horrific earnings. And, and if you guys remember, Snapchat had horrible earnings. You guys remember that? Snapchat had a terrible, terrible quarter. And guess what happened, right? It had a terrible, terrible quarter. And three days later, it was higher than this whole range here. So you could really see the proof is in the pudding how uh, stocks and companies are almost being rewarded for just being around and surviving the pandemic of 2020 and the bear market of 2022. Is this going to continue? How long it's going to continue to be determined? But again, it's not our job to guess of what we think is gonna happen a month from now, two months from now. Again, if you were watching this broadcast the first time, uh, you know, we're just trading from the previous night's research. Like again, everything that I'm, you know, I'm thinking it's gonna to happen tomorrow, it's for tomorrow. It's not for next week or next month or three years from now. I'm not trying to debate with somebody on social media what why why I think Tesla is gonna see uh, price X before price Y. It's just, I'm taking the research and if it confirms, great, if not, you know, like yesterday, right? Yesterday, I came into yesterday's session. We had a you know nice melt up. My whole my whole day was predicated on the market losing the previous day's channels lows, and it never got there. So I pretty much sat there the whole day doing doing zero. So uh, you know, today is a perfect example of if you are patient, 
and you don't deviate and you don't you know you don't just randomly start trading because the market is open eventually you'll get your aces and once you get your aces uh, once they confirm uh, usually plays out uh, pretty well so let's talk about it right did everything uh, work today uh, crazy great no no it didn't okay now we'll, I'll show you a couple of things uh, that kind of stalled out but we, we you know we, we talked about right we talked about Google yesterday right we talked about Google in last night's video 50-day moving average if it starts breaking below again we were prepared for both sides of the market uh, Google 9360 uh, had a really nice move lost the 50-day moving average if it builds below it can flush it put up a nice dollar 50 move uh, before it reversed on everything else but here was the move on test uh, on, on Google it was a beautiful move right it lost this whole range here, which co correlated with the 50-day moving average, went down about a dollar and a half before a reverse course. But nice move on, on Google. Nothing wrong with that. Um, NVIDIA, right? Look at NVIDIA here. 221 needs to build. Remember what we were talking about NVIDIA last night's, on last night's video, right? We said, you know, we're going to look at these top, either the top of this channel here or the bottom of the channel here based on the CPI, the aggression of the CPI, where we were fortunate enough that because the market went up, down, up, down, up, down, it didn't get above the previous day's range. So when the market finally opened up, oh, it surely did. 221, it needs to build, you know, beautiful. Look at this move. It went all the way up. And this is the highest close in this whole formation into this 230 level. Again, massive, massive move uh, in NVIDIA. Congratulations to all you guys who caught that. And here's a couple of names that just didn't go, right? Just didn't go. Uh, Microsoft 7460 needs to build. Only went up 30, 40 cents, right? Just didn't have the juice. Maybe it takes a day off today, but didn't have the juice. Only went up about 30, 40 cents before it sold off. Uh, Apple never, never got up to the 154.60 level. AMD went nuts at one point today. Really good. Uh, 84.16 needs to build. Usually, you know, when you get a two, three dollar move on a $200 stock, you know, $300 stock, $100 stock. But, you know, AMD is giving now $2 candles, man, like it's nothing. So it took out it took out this uh, 84.15 level, pretty much closed at the highs. I uh, went to 86.18. This thing looks higher. Beautiful move on AMD. Uh, this looks really, really good. Boeing went nuts today, right? Boeing uh, 216.50, 217 needs to build to test its previous 219 range. Here was Boeing, right? Here's Boeing. It took out this whole 216.5, 217, took out the 219, and went all the way up to 221 and change. Huge move on Boeing. Again, you're going to get these big aggressive moves because of the CPI event. Uh, FSLY, uh, 1310 needs to confirm yesterday's move. If it can get on the dip buy potential, only went up about 30 cents. But again, is 30 cents a good move? And again, I don't know. I don't trade these things anymore. But is 30 cents a good move, right? Is 30 cents a good move on a $13 stock, right? Who the hell knows, right? But again, took out the 1310. Uh, it closed right at the highs of the day into this 1350. Listen, this thing starts building back above 1350 tomorrow. Uh, this thing has more room for the upside. Uh, Tesla, you know, here it is. You know, here is the play. Uh, here is the play. Here is the play. Here is the play, right? So I had two sided on Tesla, right? The first one, 196.30 needs to build. Second entry against part of the PS60 theory. And again, I put a two sided trade, 187.60 if it builds below, can flush. So we were just waiting for the confirmation, right? We were just waiting for this, for the confirmation, uh, confirmation on Tesla. And we wanted to see uh, which one would confirm first. Let me just say, in case you haven't figured it out yet, 196.30 confirmed. It absolutely went bananas. Okay, as you can see here, uh, after hours, right? 196.30, after hours is trading at 110 and a half. Um, you know, this thing looks like it's ready to go. 214 is the next big number. If this thing can confirm 214 tomorrow, uh, we could see 220, maybe even 226 in these upper channels. But Tesla is an absolute rock star, up another dollar and change uh, after hours. Huge, huge move. Uh, Meta, again, another one that wasn't a big move. Uh, 81 needs to build, only went up 50 cents, and then it kind of died out a little bit. Qs went nuts. Again, we discussed this price last night's video. 305.10 needs to build, and you can see the Qs uh, pretty much closed, you know, near the highs of the day. Uh, you know, went almost to 308, so really, really strong move on the QQQs as well. So that's it, guys. That's it. Crazy day. Um, very, very aggressive. Uh, again, guys, you don't need to trade every day, and that's exactly what we proved yesterday. 
Uh, when it's not in your sweet spot, just leave it alone. Today, we were ready for it. We were ready for both sides. The market did exactly what we thought in the morning, up, down, up, down, up, down. It took everybody's brain cells and everybody's legs and lungs and ears and noses and everything in between uh, off their person. And whoever was left got treated with an incredible, incredible bull stampede to follow. Guys, stay blessed, everybody. Have a great night. Hopefully, we have a ch Hopefully, when we speak tomorrow, Tesla will be around 215, 220. Hell, if I'm asking, maybe 230, right? If you got to ask, dream big. Have a great night, everybody. God bless, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.